What's up guys, Next Tech here, and I've just received, or I've just, to be honest, downloaded Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean on my International Galaxy S3. And there you can see in the settings 4.1.1, if we do this, we get that lovely Jelly Bean animation, hold it down, you can throw some Jelly Beans around. So with this version, obviously you get all the good stuff. Uh, Project Butter is in great effect, it all works here. Um, Google Now all works. I mean, this phone wasn't slow before, so you're not going to notice as big a difference as, like, say, the Galaxy Nexus went from ice cream sandwich to jelly bean, as this is going to go from ice cream sandwich to jelly bean. It's faster, and you'll see it in the transitions when I open apps, for example, like this. you see how quickly that opened up. And we won't go into contacts, so I don't want to show you some stuff. The clock. You can see that lovely animation that comes up, and it's really, really smooth. Um, you obviously get the new notification panel. You can see here it's different. You only get the clock. You don't actually see your signal anymore. Like this, the brightness and the expandable notifications, which I can show you if I take a screenshot, which I actually... Okay. Now I remembered how to do it. <laughs> and there you can see the expandable notification that you can pull up and down. So that's really nice as well. Uh, another feature that comes with this, which is a touch wood feature, is blocking mode, which basically does what it says. It blocks all the incoming stuff, like your calls, notifications, and turns them all off at certain times. If we go into the settings here, you can see the accounts in classic Jelly Bean style have been split up into be separate accounts instead of just one thing. Um, let me show you that blocking mode, here you go, blocking mode, if you click into it you get all these features if you turn it on. You can set a time for when stuff is not allowed, you can allow contacts to come through. Um, yeah, quite a useful feature if you don't want to be disturbed. Another thing they've added to TouchWidge is home screen mode. Now this is basically if you want to use basic or easy mode. Uh, easy mode is if you don't really want to do stuff with your phone, you just want it to be clear and simple, maybe your parents want to use it. I'll show you what I mean, if I hit easy mode, customizations will be saved, and you'll see that now, this is all we have, see everything's massive and the home screens have all been populated for you with just simple stuff. You can see here a weather widget, a set alarm, your favourite apps, your favourite settings, and that is it, you can see. Um, so that's quite nice if nobody wants to customize stuff I'm gonna hit back to basic mode because I like to customize my stuff and There we go Another thing you'll see is I mean it wasn't slow before but it is really really smooth now There is no lag It wasn't anyway, but it just feels like project butter is doing its job again I'll show you them transitions straight in there to Google Maps Everything's really nice. I'm not I'm gonna show you Google now, but I'm not gonna show you all the voice stuff because I've done it so many times, everyone knows what it is. To access it, you hold down this button here, the home button, and it's there, the big G, so you hit that. And into Google now, which we love so much. Football scores, weather, distances, and the voice activation. I'll ask it one question. What's the weather like? It's 11 degrees and overcast in Milton Keynes, UK. And there you go. You can ask it loads of different factual stuff. There isn't that much of a big difference. I mean, the notifications are nice. It's smoother, but like I said, this phone wasn't slow before. I didn't notice any changes in the camera. The biggest changes are probably in the settings and just those transitions that I cannot get over. Um, they're so nice. Blocking mode, as I said before. Uh, Samsung, if you're waiting and wondering when your Galaxy 3 is going to get this, are taking so long about pushing this out. It is ridiculous. I don't know why. But they are taking a very, very long time about it. It's, if you're waiting for it in the US, you're probably going to get it next month. Um, there's no real reason they could just send this right out now, but they don't. They're longing everyone's life out. Another thing I should show you is they've changed the way that TouchWiz does folders. And it's actually much nicer. If I click a folder here, you can see that nice little animation there. It doesn't just open it, it kind of opens and all the apps spread out. Right? It's really, really nice. Just look at that. As I said, everything's running at 60 frames per second, no slowdowns. 
you don't expect any with the Galaxy S3 having that Exynos beast of a chip but I really really like the way that does the uh, the folders there you can see it kind of unravels and puts it nicely it's really really nice um, it's not like Jelly Bean on Nexus phones you can remove the Google widget here um, you cannot do that on Nexus phones unless you root and all that stuff so don't worry about it also it comes with this which was another big feature of Jelly Bean if you want to put an app on the home screen it will move stuff around so that is now available you know put it in folders you don't have to go and delete stuff it will try and figure out where to go I'm just going to delete that because I don't want to put that there that's pretty much it in terms of benchmark I'm not going to run any benchmarks because I've done them already and they're long but the performance hasn't changed in terms of benchmarks uh, it has for me in terms of normal use I mean you can just see how quick it was opening there the transitions are nicer there is no slowdown you know everything's working really nicely but the benchmarks haven't improved but they're just synthetic benchmarks they don't mean anything so yeah this is Jelly Bean on the Galaxy S3 it's really really nice Hopefully Samsung will get it out to you lot soon. I'll see you guys later.